Hi there, welcome to my channel English Bites. Today, our topic is about how to use comma, colon, and semicolon. Now, this topic is very helpful if you are planning to take an exam and you want to avoid errors. Well, you need to watch this video and this will help you a lot. But before that, if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell in order to be updated, and of course, please share also. Now let us start. Okay, this is the continuation of the video entitled When to Use Comma Part 3. Use a comma after each item when a geographical name is made up of two or more parts. Gagamit tayo ng comma kapag ang isang pangalan or ge geographical name ay binubuo ng dalawa o higit pang mga bahagi. Examples. My friend in New York, Cubao, Manila is a teacher. Notice the use here of a comma after New York and then after Cubao. Next, we will watch the concert on October 3, 2020. We have a comma here after 3. Next, use a comma when a name is followed by one or more titles. Gagamit tayo ng comma kapag ang pangalan ay sinusundan ng isa o higit pang mga title. Example, Alfred Gambo, MD, is my doctor. Now, you to... Now, notice the use of comma after MD. Next, Kerry Mungayo, Jr., Fidi, or Doctor of Philosophy, was our guest last night. Notice the use of comma after Doctor of Philosophy. Next, use a comma when an address is made up of two or more parts. Example. You should send the package to 1487 Florentino Street, Baguio City, Philippines. Now notice here the use of comma from after street and after Baguio City. Another, use a comma after the salutation in a letter and after the closing in all letters. Example, here in salutations. Dear Lucy, dear Uncle Ben. And then for closings, Respectfully yours, your friend. Next, use a comma after every three digits from the right with numbers of more than three digits. Example, 120,000 kilometers per hour. Notice here, we have comma after first three digits from the right. And then here, 20,368,980 voters. Notice here the comma after every three digits from the right. Now use a comma when writing an elliptical sentence to indicate the omitted words. Example, Dennis recited quickly, Albert more clearly. Notice here the uh, omitted words here is after Albert. It means that Albert also de, uh, Albert also recited quickly, but it is no longer uh, mentioned here because it is omitted since this is an elliptical sentence. Pag sinabing elliptical sentence, my part the sentence na hindi na inilalagay because it is automatically understood. Next. Set of direct quotation from the rest of the sentence by using commas. Example, I want my money back, Arthur said angrily. Now, we have here a quotation, I want my money back. Now, notice here, according to our rule, we are going to set of direct quotation. Ihihiwalay natin itong direct quotation ito by using comma. Next. When they whispered, then uh, comma, quotation mark, and then I love you too. Notice I love you too is inside this quotation mark. Next, use a colon to introduce a list of items after an independent clause. Example, you are going to need the following items. Colon, 
paper clips, pencil, roller, and scissor. Now you notice, notice here, colon here is used to introduce all items, these items, huh? after the independent clause. Our independent clause is you are going to need the following items. Next. Use a colon before introducing a quotation or use a colon before introducing a quotation that is formal or a quotation that has no he said or she said expression. Gagamit na tayo ng colon para i-introduce ang isang quotation na formal or quotation that has no he said. Walang nakalagay na he said or she said. Example. Some scientists don't believe in this verse from the Bible. Colon. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now, notice here, the colon is used to introduce a quotation that has no he said. Walang he said, walang she said. Only a quotation. And that is after this uh, sentence. Some scientists don't believe in this verse from the Bible. Actually, this is also an independent clause. Next, colon is used in time expressed in numerals. Ginagamit daw ang colon sa mga time na ginagamitan ng numerals. Examples, sa mga oras. 7.30, 1.30. Yan, ito yung mga time numerals. Next is colon is used in reference to periodicals like this one, philosophy today. Hmm. There is, okay, next. Use colon in biblical references. So for example, Exodus 20 verse 8. Now here, the colon is used to separate the, ver the chapter and the verse in the Bible. Next, use colon in subtitles of books and magazines. Example, the causes of World War II, then colon, the chronology of events. Here, the colon is used to separate the uh, title of the book from Next, use a semicolon to join two independent clauses that are not joined by the coordinating conjunctions and, but, nor, or, so, yet. Okay. Example, some people reached the summit of Mount Everest. Semicolon, others died in trying. Now, we have here two independent clauses. The first one is, some people are, some people reached the summit of Mount Everest. This is our first independent clause. Followed with another independent clause. Others died in trying. Now, to connect these two independent clauses, we use a semicolon. Para idugtong itong dalawang independent clauses, gumamit tayo rito ng semicolon. Kasi hindi tayo gumamit ng conjunction na and, o kaya but, nor, or so, or yet. Pero pag gumamit tayo nito mga conjunction na ito, hindi tayo gagamit ng semicolon. That is the rule. Next. Use semicolon to join independent clauses separated by a conjunctive adverb or a transitional phrase. Gagamit na tayo ng semicolon para pagdugtungin ang mga independent clauses na pinaghihiwalay ng conjunctive adverb. Yung mga however, therefore, yung mga ganyan. And then yung transitional phrases, sa trans transitional phrases, yung mga in fact, as a matter of fact, for that matter. Hmm, something like that. Our objective is to submit our project within one month. And then we have colon. Instead, we were able to finish it in only one week. Itong instead, ito ang ating conjunctive adverb. Instead. But before instead, we use a semicolon here. Notice, the use of semicolon before the conjunctive adverb followed with another independent clause. We were able to finish it in only one week. Kailangan itong colon.
palaging kasama niya o karugtong o kasunod ang conjunctive adverb. Yung mga instead, therefore, however. And then, remember, ito ay ginagamit lang kung ang dinudugtong natin ay dalawang independent clauses. Okay. Instead ang ating conjunctive adverb. Next. Luis is the best in acting in our school. Colon. As a matter of fact, he won the best in acting award last month. Last month. Alright. Now, itong transitional phrase natin ay itong as a matter of fact. This is our transitional phrase. <clears throat> now notice, after the transitional phrase, we have a comma and then continued with the next independent clause. Now, if you have learned something in this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell in order to be updated, and of course, please share also. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.